morning folks uh, it is Tuesday 24th of July it's 25 to 9 in the morning and it is hot already it's just I'm not amused <laughs> it better be cool at work um, yeah I thought I'd jump on and show you what I've been doing um, I'm taking the boys for afternoon tea that was I finished work this afternoon uh, I don't think I'll be able to film in there but I'll, I'll speak to the boys afterwards and get their impressions for you. I think I'm slightly wonky. Better? Um, okay, so last night I worked on the dragon, Sharon Ayala's dragon. So I've put the legs on and this one's jointed fine. This one, not so much. I'll have to have a look at it later. So this, of course, is the first one I did. Uh, and it moves freely and is great. And this one's not so good. So I will I will investigate later. Uh, I struggled slightly with the French knots. Because me and French knots don't get on. But I think it looks quite cool. And then I did the arms. Jack, don't move, darling. Jack sat right there. Um, yeah, I did the hands. Which is an interesting construction. Uh, and Sharon, of course, makes it look so easy. She's just like, and you just sew this together and off it, you know, she's done. So it's not, <laughs> it's not tied up. I just wrap the ends around so they weren't falling everywhere. So I've, the head part of this has been released. So I was like three, three parts behind. So put the legs and the feet together last night. The hands together. Uh, the legs are on, arms aren't sewn on. Uh, and then I'll start making the head. And um, this morning I made, oh, I'm on the end, made the ears for the sheep and uh, I haven't sewn them in, I've, I've sewn them closed so they curl like that but they're not sewn in properly yet, just pinned on. Um, so I think it's going to be super cute. Um, yeah, the stuffing, the weight is, is still on hold so... Hopefully I'll get something figured out today. If not, I'm just going to scoop a load of gravel out of the garden and wash it intensely. It's the same thing. It's I need to go to a garden centre really, I think. I read um, a few things last night on waiting and a lady had looked at, you know, the pro like proper beads you can get or, or beads for that purpose. But they were really expensive. Um, so she ended up buying pebble gravel from her garden centre. Um, I don't know where our nearest garden centre is. Possibly Breeston. So I'm going to have to do some investigating and perhaps pop out after work or something like that one day and see if I can buy. Because I don't, obviously, I imagine gravel being bought by the ton. Clearly, I don't need that much. Whether well, they just let me go and get a few scoops. <laughs> Hello, I went to you know. I don't know whether to get like a kilo or what, so I've got to get it in the belly of of this. And obviously, I don't want to, it to be out of proportion or whatever. But we'll see. So there's that dude. It is it is big the head, but obviously the body's not as big yet. And then I've got to make its arms and legs, and then we're about there really. So it's not taken too long. Obviously, it's just stalled because of the the weight and I had to faff with the pattern to get it the right shape uh, and the right you know get the two parts to match up um, but yeah that's all I've got for now so I'm gonna go I'm gonna head off to work in a little bit uh, I've not fed the kids this morning because they're having pancakes apparently so we had a busy day yesterday we made slime and I played pie face with cream, but it didn't last very long because nobody wanted to get hit in the face with the cream. And then once it got hit in the face with the cream, it was fine and they wanted to carry on, but then it, it fizzled out quite quick, which that game does tend to do, uh, pie face. If you've not heard of it, you have a hand, like a plastic hand, and you put cream on it, a shaving foam or something, and then you have to put your face through like a, a hole, like on a stand, and you, you've spin the, the thing and however many whatever number you get you're supposed to like turn it and click it click the hand that many times but you can choose to click less and you get a point for each click you do but if you do your full number of clicks that you've you've span or, or rolled 
you get double the points. So if you're brave, you get double the points. Obviously, if you get smacked in the face, you don't get any points. So just watch out because the camera's up, Jack. The camera's up here, so be careful. You're knocking it. Let's tap it on as usual. Both of them. I, I was watching kids telly. I'm like, why am I the only one watching Dragon? Like the Riders of Burke thing, the, the How to Train Your Dragon cartoon. They weren't watching it. It's a good thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so they did that and they had Mr. Frosty out making like crushed ice and stuff like that. They had a busy day. So maybe they'll have a more chilled day today and then I'm taking him out, we'll see later on. Yeah, so it should be a fun day. So I'm going to go and see what's happened in the lovely world of shipping. But my vessel's gone back. It's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare at the minute. Port of Felix don't have questions to answer. Because it's just horrid. Horrid. What's going on? But anyway, I will not bore you with freight. Because apparently people don't find it as interesting as I do. <laughs> freight nerd. Anyway. I will see you later. I don't imagine there's going to be much time to crochet until this evening. I was thinking about booking a spin class, but I've forgotten to look and now I can't really be bothered. That need has passed. <laughs> spin in this heat. Well, it's okay in there, but it's not really okay in there. It's never cool in there. After about two minutes of the class, you know, no, sweat. Stop waffling. I hope you're having a good day. I will catch up with you later and let you know how our delicious afternoon tea was. Hopefully delicious. See you in a bit, guys. Bye. Hi, everybody. Um, it is nearly ten to five in the afternoon. I've lost the children. They're outside with Paul mucking about with bikes. Um, I did want them to come in and tell you about our lovely afternoon tea. It was really good. It's super hot in there, though. But there's, you know, obviously nothing I can do about it. Um, yeah, all the doors and windows were open, but it, it's about 30 degrees again today. <laughs> but afternoon tea, I'll put some pictures in at the end um, of, of us there. Oh my word, it was beautiful. So the boys had a stand like between them, um, like a, a three-tier, two-tiered cake stand, and they've got... Um, was it cheese and tuna so not together cheese sandwiches and tuna sandwiches and sausage rolls and cheese straws um, and then they'd got uh, she made some cute little caterpillars out of strawberries that she'd put um, a little uh, antenna in and grapes and marshmallows and there was cake each for them and some strawberries and um, some orange segments and stuff it was really cute uh, and they got to choose their drink, and then mine was massive, like a three three tier uh, cake stand. So I got sandwiches with cream cheese and cucumber, and some tuna, and sausage roll, pork mini pork pie. Um, I got cheese straw, but the kids had that as well. Um, then I got a scone with cream and strawberry jam, which was delicious, delicious. It was still warm. Um, and I got a sliced chocolate cake and a cupcake on the top with loads of fruit and, uh, and a, a choice of, of any drink I wanted. So I had a, rhubarb, a pot of rhubarb tea. It was beautiful. It's such a nice place and such a cool idea. It'd be really nice in the winter when I, you know, when you want nice warming cups of tea. But I can see me going there to have a pot of tea and, you know, probably some cake that I shouldn't be eating. But, oh, Delicious, delicious. And she's, she said, you don't have to eat it. Oh, sweetheart, she can take some home. I'm like, well, she didn't tell me that. I'm like, Arr. don't leave it, don't you? Um, so it was really good. And I bought the kids some sweets. Um, they came out with, they had a lollipop each in their cake. And then there was some chocolate buttons, which she let us bring home as well. Um, so they've had a few buttons and sweets as well to share. So I bought some for my sister as well, because I know she wants uh, a certain type of sweets. Um, I don't know. If you if you need care, if you, you remember them. Um, cop cops, little black. I don't know if they're on a seed or licorice or what, but that that kind of excuse me, licorice on a seedy flavour, which we love. Can you make them two, three noisy people? Uh, and after that, we went to a few shops in Long Eaton looking for Jack wants a fan, hand fan. 
no one has found fans, either, you know, wafty ones or the electric ones, all gone, you know, like battery operated ones. So I decided to have a little drive up to Chilwell because there's a pound stretcher and a pound land uh, up there. And I thought, well, you never know, we might still have some in stock. But they do have these. So this is fairly heavy, doesn't it? I think it says how heavy they are. Decorative pop toppers. £1.99, £1 stretcher. Do not eat, not for consumption. Keep away from children and pets for decorative purposes only. It's a decent weight. Um, and I may just keep them in this bag. Just take the tag off and then put this bag inside the, the sheep's body and stuff around it. Two birds and all that, you know. So, um, yes, I have decorative stones. Oh, who? Um, sorry. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've not crocheted since this morning. Uh, work was uh, busy, hot. <sighs> this is just how work is all the time, hot and busy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we don't need feeding tonight because we're very full of cake and sandwiches and goodness so i'm going to be sure to leave a, a very nice review because it was beautiful um yeah so i'll pop in some pictures of the boys after this and of our giant piles of food and i think that's it for the day uh, i'm going to go and call off i don't know how i feel about doing the gym feeling towards no maybe and i'll go after work tomorrow i don't know i might get a second wind <laughs> I might feel remorse for eating quite so many calories today. But it was free, it was a win. You have to do it, don't you? So, I hope Tuesday it has been good. Um, yeah, I hope you did something nice. Or got to go for a treat like we did. That was really nice. Um, but yeah, so I will leave it here and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye guys.